do you think the risks are of using stimulant medication to treat ADHD? Well, this is clearly a very relevant question from a clinical point of view and uh, um, of course as all medications, uh, stimulants, uh, do have uh, adverse or side effects. And uh, I think it's very important to um, be aware that um, it's not good to overestimate the risk because in such a way you may prevent um, individuals with ADHD from receiving a potentially useful treatment. And on the other hand, of course, it's not good to overestimate the possible risk because you expose individuals to um, unwanted side effects. In terms of the tolerability profile of these medications, uh, I think that overall um, we can state that um, it is quite good, meaning that uh, the side effects that can happen uh, following this treatment in general are um, temporary, transitory, they persist the first uh, days or weeks of treatment and they tend to disappear in the majority of cases. Uh, and these are uh, in particular decreased um, appetite, uh, sleep onset delay and uh, less consistently headache and tummy ache. Um, it goes without saying that in a sub uh, group of children treated with ADHD, these side effects may be more severe, more serious, and so we need to carefully monitor this uh, subgroup. But uh, in my experience and in the experience of other colleagues, um, generally uh, we do not stop this medication because of their tolerability profile, because uh, the effectiveness is uh, much more important and consistent. Thank you, thank you very much. My pleasure.